Well, the other thing about kids at that age is they're incredibly impressionable, which is something we need to start talking about when it comes to gender theory <clears throat> and the way that we're promoting, uh, you know, gender fluidity mm. with young people. There was a study done in the Netherlands just recently that found the majority of gender-confused children grow out of it. Now, they tracked 2,700 children from age 11 into their mid-20s. So this study, 2,700 kids over the course of 15 years, and they asked them every three years to talk about how they were feeling about gender. And what they found over the course of 15 years is that around 1 in 10 children, or 11%, expressed some gender confusion during their teenage years. But by the time they'd reached 25 years of age, only 4% said they still continued to be confused about their gender. What's remarkable about this is they took 15 years to discover what most of us could realise in 15 minutes, that is that kids go through periods of confusion as teenagers and that most of them, if they're left to their own devices and if they've got mum and dad and grandma and grandpa guiding them mm. rather than activists and ideologues in public schools typically then kids will find their own way and develop quite fine 100%. without a whole lot of interference. 100%. And the criminality of what's going on right now is that we already knew this. We didn't need the study out of the Netherlands. There is already uh, incomprehensible amounts of data that show this. Mm. If left to their own devices, <clears throat> the vast majority, most studies say 75% mm. of kids will completely grow out of it by the time they reach adolescence or get past yep. adolescence. We, we knew this. We've known it for decades. And yet this multi-billion dollar industry now is happy to do this gender-affirming care, mutilating kids for life, never telling them this will sterilise you for life also by putting you on puberty blockers and God knows what else is in those tablets. Nobody's made aware of the, the repercussions. And we have had some wins in the UK now banning these kind of therapies, now banning these kind of surgeries. But Australia is still dragging the chain. Yeah. In fact, we're still stepping down people from prominent positions like paediatricians who dare to mm. speak out about it. Why is this occurring? And we do. We see these ideologues, whether it's in the educational system, whether it's in the health system. You have to wonder, if this study was done in Australia, would these kids have fared so well? Because maybe it's not so prevalent in their systems over there mm. that these kids, the vast majority of them, were like, actually, I'm perfectly happy with my gender now. And the thing they found is amongst teenagers, it was typically teenage girls who <clears throat> had the most confusion about you know, their body changing as they go through adolescence. Yeah. And we see that in the statistics now in terms of uh, young people wanting to transgender. It's overwhelmingly girls who are wanting to transgender. Yeah. But if they're just left to their own devices, they'll be fine. Well, and this is the thing, right? I mean, you know, kids find their place in the world by playing around and experimenting with things and working out who they are and where they belong in the world. And I, I, you've talked before, Liz, about how you were a tomboy as a kid, right? Very and much. When, when, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Mrs Doubtfire. Great film, Robin Williams, you know, cross-dresses so he can see his children who've been taken away from him through divorce, right? A, a funny, hilarious film. And so I had this sort of grey wig. I used to I'd pretend to be Mrs Doubtfire. Now, if I had, like, woke Greens voting parents today yeah. and I was that kid, they'd probably look at me and go, oh, hang on a minute, maybe little Caleb's transgender. We've got 100%. to take him down to a... You know, all I was doing was having fun as a kid. The fact I was pretending to be a girl playing a character right. had nothing to do mm. with what I felt inside. Mm. I was just having fun. Kids have fun. Leave kids alone.